Right, in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mod slightly modify like the grind on this Mora Crook knife. When I say I'm going to modify it, I will explain it. I'm not going to necessarily modify the initial grind, but when you look at this, is what I believe. I had this for quite a long time. I believe this is the Mora 164, right? If you look very carefully, you might be able to see it, but you've got three kind of different bevels. It kind of comes along to here, and then it, go, and it slopes down, and then it's got one more. Well, we're going to change this, see if we can get rid of, definitely get rid of this first one. Maybe get rid of some of the second one. So it's just a gradual slope all the way down, not three different angles now hopefully you can see that so you got one to there and then one there and then this flat bit and what I'm going to use I was going to use the Dremel but I'm in the garage and the Dremel is in the cabin so I'm going to use this uh, cordless drill to do it, but with a Dremel like sanding disc in the end. So if you got a Dremel, use a Dremel. If you got a drill, use a drill. Or you may be able to do this with a chainsaw file or something, or some really good files. But also the good thing about using a drill, hopefully this shouldn't get it too hot. If you do, if it does start to get hot, then you're going to want to stop and dip it in water. But if it's a slow grind, it doesn't seem to get it too hot anyway. This is more like sanding. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jam this on and then we're going to start grinding. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Right, so that's it pretty much finished you could keep going as much as you wanted to I suppose just keep going to the angle what you like I might give this a go and then if I think it needs more do a bit more later 
but while I was doing it I thought of maybe a couple of even more simpler ways you could do it <coughs> kind of stuff what anybody has if you're into this kind of thing possibly some different um, different grades of sandpaper starting off with rough you may be able to change the angles on these or if not I was thinking maybe a large sharpening stone and then just keep grinding it on that or a chainsaw file and those kind of ways anybody should be able to do it but it's going to be a lot slower if you've got either a grinder or a dremel or a drill what you can put a dremel end in it that makes things a bit quicker so here's something i carved a while back using the same thing i kind of me being impatient, I get halfway and I can't be bothered anymore. Don't know if you can see or not. This is already quite deep in here. Well, that definitely seems better than what it was. This is very hard wood. This is completely, I'm not sure what it is. It might be elm. Possibly, I'm not sure. But it's seasoned wood, you know, this is very hard wood anyway. But that seems to have made a difference. What I might do later on, I might give it a bit more of a go over it to get the angle even better, but that's the way it can be done. Right, anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you later.